All right, this is Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 14. Uh, we're going to continue using a vertical number line, only now we're going to be rounding to the nearest hundred. And remember, the whole point of using that vertical number line is we want to teach students how to round, but do it within um, a concept of number sense. We don't want to just teach students some sort of mindless trick on how to round um, some sort of number and, and do it algorithmically without um, really coming to grips with the number sense that's going on in the background. So that's why we're using the vertical number line. Ultimately, students will be using that classic um, uh, trick or the technique for rounding, but first we're going to develop number sense. All right, so in uh, using a vertical number line to round, uh, in this case, we're going to be rounding to the nearest hundred. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be thinking of a number line that begins down here at zero, and it goes up 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, I'm I'll get there. I'm almost done. 900. And now this would be 10 hundred, but then we call it a thousand, right? So, and we could keep going forever and ever and ever. Uh, but the idea is to recognize that, oh, 804, that lives somewhere between 800 and 900, right here. And then we're going to take that interval and we're going to expand it. And we're going to expand it to right here. So here's 800, here's 900. And we know that 850 is smack dab in the middle. And so the idea would be, okay, so where does 804 live in this interval? And uh, we don't have to be totally perfect. We just know it lives way down here, somewhere down here. So there's 804, which means 804 rounds down to 800. So it is approximately 800. All right, in the same fashion, we've got uh, a number line, and imagine that number line is like way down here, and it starts at zero, and then it goes up to 100, and 200, and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, blah, 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 and it just keeps going and going. And the idea is this number um, right here has to live somewhere on this number line, and really what we want to know is between what two um, hundreds. Uh, wh what interval so that we can then map it on this uh, zoomed in uh, vertical number line. And since we're rounding to the nearest hundred, it's going to be between 1200 and 1300. In other words, 1200 and 1300. And we know that smack dab in the middle is 1250. And so using a little bit of estimation, uh, we could say, good enough, right there. There's 1,260. Uh, we don't have to graph it perfectly on the number line. We just have to know that it's somewhere in the top half rather than in the bottom half of the number line. And once we know that, we know that it rounds up to 1,300 or 1,300. And our last example in this video, a bottle of juice holds 386 milliliters round the capacity to the nearest hundred. So again, I'm going to kind of belabor the point a little bit. Eventually, students won't have to do this. But we're going to figure out, since we're being told to round to the nearest hundred milliliters, that means our number line, our basic number line, is going to skip by hundreds, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. And the idea would be, OK, between what two hundreds is 386 going to live between? And we can see that it's going to live somewhere between 300 and 400. So that means we're going to label the bottom tick mark at 300. We're going to label the top tick tick mark at 400, smack dab in the middle is 350, and that means 386, hmm, we can estimate, oh, it's close enough, 386, right around there, which, which means it rounds up 
to 400. So the answer is 400 milliliters is um, the rounded answer. And that is lesson 14 from grade 3, module 2, using a vertical number line to round to the nearest hundred.